I'm Afra Shemza. I'm a multimedia artist and currently artist in residence at Spacer. Back in 2019, I was awarded the Developing Your Creative Practice grant by the Arts Council for my project, Solutions for a Sustainable Art Practice. And in this project, I looked at swapping out my two core materials, wood and plastic, for sustainable alternatives. What was brilliant about the project was that I learned lots of new skills and also started making more sustainable artworks and artworks that also were about the climate crisis as well. Since then, I've been working more sustainably. Last year, I was commissioned by the Canary Wharf Group to produce Ocean Rise, which was my first public sculpture made entirely from sustainable materials. Ocean Rise became the namesake of my new project, which was funded by the Arts Council. I was looking for a solution to our plastic pollution problem. In this country, we only actually recycle 10% of our plastic household waste. It felt really important to me to look at this and try and find a solution for what to do with all this waste. In Ocean Rise, I'm artist in residence at Spacer, which is an eco arts hub in Ramsgate. And whilst in residence here, I'm upscaling my plastic recycling capabilities by buying two new machines, the shredder machine and the sheet press. These machines have been created from open source designs that the wonderful precious plastics have created in the Netherlands and I've decided to work with two different types of plastic, low density polyethylene and high density polyethylene, because these types of plastic are malleable at lower temperatures and also don't release toxic or nasty fumes into the air. HDP is things like milk bottles and food containers. And so I take this material and put it into my shredder machine that shreds the plastic into these fine granules. I then measure out weigh the plastic. I then oil up my mould and put the plastic into the mould and then I found that I really like working with the bags that come round fruit and onions and things like that because they're colourful and they provide this really lovely netting texture so I place that on the top of the material. I then place the mould into the sheet press at 150 degrees and leave it in the machine for 20 minutes to melt the plastic into the sheet. LDPE is things like plastic bags and bubble wrap, all those kind of stretchy materials that you get. And with this method, it's slightly different. So here I need to put a piece of Teflon onto my mold because the material can stick to the metal, which we don't want. So I lay that out onto the mold and I measure out half of the amount that I need and do one batch first. So I put that plastic into the mold and melt it in the sheet press for about five minutes. I then take that plastic out and mix in my base colour material which comes from plastic bags and then I pop that piece of material to one side. I then put in the other half into the sheet press in the same way and mix a whole load more different colours into that one whilst it's still hot. I then take both of those and put them back into the press and melt them together. I remove them from the press again and mix them up by hand and then pop them in the press one final time for 10 minutes. I then leave that to cool down and press the sheet out when I've finished. Once I've got my sheet material, I then cut it, sand it and finish it and use it to make new artworks with. And for this project, I've created the Ocean Rise series. And this takes the plastic recycling one step further. So not only are the works about plastic pollution, they're also about rising sea levels due to global warming. And this, I think, really brings everything together and highlights the interconnectedness between all these systems. And I think it's really important to start thinking about using our waste in different ways. With the sculptures, I've decided to make them fairly small, but they reference the monolithic kind of sculptures of the past. And I wondered if there could be this new sort of sensibility of creating artworks that are more reserved in their size and are more sustainable. With Ocean Rise 5, I've used my recycled plastic sheets and then I've taken the graph outline from NASA's website of ocean sea levels rising in the last 15 years and then transposed that into the plastic behind with LED light. 
I love sharing my knowledge with other people and I've developed a new series of workshops for plastic recycling and they take these upscaled methods and downscale them again. So here I'm using a t-shirt press and a smaller metal mold and the same types of plastic, recycling those with different groups. So I've created workshop content for students that are young, for adults with disabilities or learning difficulties. And it's really important to me to make sustainable practice as accessible to everybody as possible. And the sharing of my skills doesn't just stop at the workshops. It's really important for me to bring education and research and interests to the public as well as artists. In November last year, I curated and hosted Radical Ecology, which was a collaborative event with the National Gallery X and Art in Flux. I also created a number of peer events for other artists to learn about being more sustainable in their practice. Recently, I've really started getting into writing about this, and so I have a number of published articles that are coming out. One with ArtQuest called Sustainable Art Practice, the second with Julie's Bicycle, which is an in-depth case study about my art practice, and the third is with the Centre for Sustainable practice in the arts. We're publishing a report that's going to kickstart a series of best practice guides. My guide will be about plastic recycling. I believe it's really important that we make changes to the way we live and work in order to create a greener future.